The power of a quotient property says that if we happen to have a quotient, let's say a over b, and we raised it to a power n, well that power would basically distribute out, would go ahead and be put into both numerator and denominator. So this power of a quotient property says we'll take the numerator and raise that to the n, and take the denominator and raise that to the n, and then once we get an answer, we could simplify or divide if it was necessary. Okay, so let's look at an example of this. So what if we had something like this that maybe said simplify and I gave you the quotient of x over 3 squared. Okay, so what does this mean if we did it out the long way? Well, it means that we would have x over 3 multiplied by itself. So x over 3 times x over 3. And when we multiply fractions, we just multiply straight across. So we just go ahead and go right across the top here. So x times x, which would be x squared. And 3 times 3, which would be 9. Now, let's look at what the property says. So the property says, if I had x over 3 squared, well, according to the property, what I could do then is I could take x squared over 3 squared. Okay, so let's kind of separate this a little bit better so you can see it. All right, so x squared would be what? Well, that would just be x squared. And 3 squared, which would be 9. Again, the exact same solutions we got the long way, only now we're simplifying our math by using a property, the power of a quotient property.